Hi, Marketing 2. So I decided I was going to do a day in the life of my dogs. We have Zane, who is my baby boy. He is four years old. We got him at the Cape May Animal Shelter. Adopt, don't shop. There's so many dogs in shelters that would love to be in your home so that they're not in a shelter. And we also have Harley, who just showed up in our backyard one day. And we kept her because we couldn't find her owner, basically. And a friendly reminder, stay home. There's so many people out there like me who are immunocompromised and can't go outside right now because there's so many other people who aren't immunocompromised just like hanging around. It's so important. Whenever you leave your house, you're putting yourself at risk. You're putting your others at risk. And it's not cool. It's not fun. You can see your friends in like a month when all of this is over. But please stay home or you gonna kill me. <laughs> Zane says, achoo. Can I show him? No, I cannot show him. Zane, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. He says hi in spirit. I don't even think you saw him. Anyway, yeah, here's a day in the life of my chickens. And welcome to the narration. So my dog's day start off taking turns sleeping in my mom's office. So here we see Harley taking a stews and then Zane. And they just keep doing this until I wake up, which is around 9. And then I say good morning to them. So this is me saying good morning to Harley because she was in the living room and Zane was being a bum and sleeping in my mom's office. She's very cute. She likes to lick people in the face, especially in the mouth, which is nasty. Moving on. Later in the day, Harley was helping me with my physics homework. Thank you, Mr. Law. We're currently doing a physics review. AP test coming up. You know, you know. Anywho, she was helping me. She was a real big help. And you'll see in a second, Zane just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. No help at all. Being a bum. Sleeping. Moving on, Harley is now doing her taxes. She uses TurboTax, if you were wondering. She's an economist on Wall Street, so she knows what's good. Zane, on the other hand, I think he's taken another snooze. He's just kind of zoning out, you know, like dogs do. Harley, very sophisticated, used to be a spy in Russia. Now she works in Wall Street, you know. A lot of things going on with her. And yeah, here we see Zane just zoning out like dogs do. And I'm going to pet him in a second. You see, wait, no, I don't. Oh, man, I'm just bullying him. Yeah, he's trying his best, you know? Moving on, we see Harley eating a stick. We see Zane saying hi to me. Yep, she just, she chewed on that stick hardcore. Yep. And now we see them thinking about fighting each other like they love to do. And if you look real close in that one shot, you can see the cat. Next, we have Harley laying, playing in the dirt, acting like she's a horse. And then she realizes someone is watching her and she stops, featuring her favorite stuffed animal. Later in the day, my mom's making lunch. They're really hoping they get some, but they never got any and they were really sad about it. And now we're at Din Din time. So Zane eats his Din Din like a normal dog. You know, he just be eating. He's like, mmm, food. But then Harley. Harley. Oh, Harley. I said Din Din. Din Din? And she said, No. So here is how to properly feed your Harley. First, you have to coax her into telling her she's a good girl and she is allowed to eat the food and that she should eat the food. And then you have to very gently kick Zane out of the house without kicking Harley out because Harley likes to be outside. This is me kicking Zane out of the house. I said, Zane, go outside for a second. Harley, stay inside. You need the din din. Bye, Zane. He's an outside dog now. Next step get food from fridge. I got chicken because that's what we had. And yeah, hide it in her food bowl because Neustros is not good enough for Harley. She needs other stuff. And then as soon as she starts eating, you cannot move. You just gotta let her eat and then you can continue on with your life. Sometimes you get stuck in really weird positions, but you just deal with it. This is Zane trying to eat my food because he's a nudge. And... What is it called when dogs beg? He begged so hard. Harley don't care, though. 
And then they end their days with a snack. So Harley, because she's weird, only eats biscuits outside. So here's my mom trying to give her a biscuit, and she's like, no, I don't want it. But she really wants it. And then here's me giving her the biscuit, because I made her do a trick for it. She knows how to do high 10. She put both her paws up, and it's really cute. Look at her. She's about to do a high 10. It wasn't that good, but I gave it to her anyway. And then she goes outside. And then they go to sleep. Zane sleeps in my room because he is my actual son and hardly sleeps on the couch because she's a little emo. I hope y'all enjoyed a day in the life of my cats. They are the love of my life and I didn't know what else to do for this so I decided to share them with you. He's sleepy. Shoot. Bye. <laughs> Stay home.